The cast of Grease recently celebrated the 46th anniversary of the film's release, and they look as stunning as ever. While some members have sadly passed away, those who remain cherish the memories of making Grease. The 1978 film featured legendary actors and actresses such as John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, and Stockard Channing, among others. Each one of them has contributed significantly to making Grease a household name and an iconic musical that will endure for decades. Here are some of the cast members of Grease and how they look over 46 years later. Stockard Channing as Rizzo. By the time Stockard Channing was cast as the high school bad girl Rizzo, she had already built an impressive resume of stage and screen credits, including a starring role opposite Warren Beatty and Jack Nicholson in Mike Nichols's The Fortune, 1975. After two short-lived attempts at sitcom stardom in the early 1980s, Channing reunited with Nicholson and Nichols, as well as Meryl Streep, for the film Heartburn, based on Nora Ephron's best-selling novel. She continued her stage work as well, eventually earning a Tony Award for Best Actress in a play for Peter Nichols' A Day in the Death of Joe Egg, and receiving nominations for her performances in The House of Blue Leaves, Six Degrees of Separation, Four Baboons Adoring the Sun, The Lion in Winter, Pal Joey for Best Actress in a Musical, and Other Desert Cities. In 1993, she reprised her role as Louisa Wiesa Kittredge in the film adaptation of Six Degrees, earning both Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations for her performance. She worked steadily through the 90s before joining the cast of the acclaimed drama The West Wing in 1999, which garnered her six Emmy nominations and one win. She went on to win another Emmy for the made-for-television movie The Matthew Shepard Story in 2002, which also earned her a Screen Actors Guild Award. Channing has continued to appear on both stage and screen and had a recurring role on the CBS drama The Good Wife until 2016. She has been married and divorced four times and was in a long-term relationship with cinematographer Daniel Gillum until his passing in 2014. Jeff Conaway as Kennecke. Jeff Conaway brought Kennecke, the T-Bird second-in-command, to life on screen. Similar to his co-star John Travolta, Conaway was part of the original Broadway cast of Grease, initially serving as an understudy for multiple roles before eventually stepping into the part of Danny Zuko. After his Broadway stint, he made guest appearances on various television shows before joining the cast of the Grease film and becoming a series regular on the sitcom Taxi. Conaway's time on Taxi lasted three seasons during which he earned two Golden Globe nominations. However, he left the hit show due to creative differences with the producers and his struggles with on-set drug abuse. Throughout the 80s and early 90s, he mainly took on guest roles on TV and small supporting parts in films, until he secured the role of Zach Allen on Babylon 5, where he appeared from 1994 to 1999. In the mid-2000s, Conaway's battle with substance abuse took a severe turn, leading him to appear on reality TV shows such as VH1's Celebrity Fit Club and Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. Conaway passed away in May 2011 due to complications from pneumonia. John Travolta as Danny Before John Travolta slipped into Danny Zuko's leather jacket, he was already a star, thanks to his roles as Vinny Barbarino on Welcome Back, Cotter, Billy Nolan in Carrie, 1976, and Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever, 1977, which earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Following the massive success of Grease, Travolta found another hit with 1980's Urban Cowboy, but his career encountered a series of disappointments in the subsequent decade. In 1989, things began to improve with the success of Look Who's Talking, alongside Kirstie Alley. However, it was Quentin Tarantino's 1994 film Pulp Fiction that truly revitalized his career, earning him a second Oscar nomination. Since then, he has starred in several successful films, including Get Shorty, 1995, Face Off, 1997, and Primary Colors, 1998, 
and returned to movie musicals with his performance as Edna Turnblad in the 2007 remake of Hairspray. In 2012, Travolta teamed up with Olivia Newton-John for their holiday album This Christmas. In 2016, he received his first Emmy nomination for his role as Robert Shapiro in FX's The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Travolta was married to the late Kelly Preston from 1991 until her death from breast cancer in July 2020. They had three children together, Jet, who tragically died from a seizure in 2009, Ella Blue, and Benjamin, Barry Pearl as Duty. Frenchie's troublemaking boyfriend Duty was played by Barry Pearl, who had performed in the first national tour of Greece before joining the film's cast. Born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Pearl grew up in an Orthodox Jewish family. Despite his Orthodox upbringing, he celebrated both Hanukkah and Christmas as a child because two of his aunts were married to Christians. Pearl portrayed Professor Tinkerput in the primetime special Barney's Imagination Island and the U.S. tour of Barney's Big Surprise, a stage production based on the popular TV show, as well as the video of the same name. He also appeared in an episode of Disney Channel's Even Stevens. Pearl's career began in 1961 when he replaced Johnny Borden as Randolph Maphy in Broadway's Bye Bye Birdie. His other Broadway credits include Oliver. In 1962, a teaspoon every four hours in 1969, The Producers in 2005, Lenny's Back in 2008, and Baby It's You in 2011. In 2012, he starred in the Lionsgate release The Newest Pledge and played Arnold in the national tour of Happy Days, a new musical. In 2014, he participated in the series Summer with Cimarelli. During the summers, he teaches film arts across the U.S. to the special needs community with Joey Travolta's Inclusion Film Company. Michael Tucci as Sonny Michael Tucci took on the role of Sonny, one of the T-Birds, known for being a huge goofball and often getting into trouble. He portrayed law student Gerald Golden in the TV series The Paper Chase from 1983 to 1986, and then played best friend Pete Shoemaker on It's Gary Shandling's Show, 1986-1990. Tucci spent over three years touring with various productions of the musical Chicago, performing as Amos, Roxy Hart's husband. He also played the Green Apple in Uta Hagen's play Destination and was involved in numerous Broadway productions. On television, he portrayed Mark Sloan's friend and hospital administrator Norman Briggs during the first four seasons of Diagnosis, Murder. He also played the father of Melissa McCarthy's character in The Heat, 2013. Additionally, Tucci worked as a teacher and theater coach at St. Francis High School in La Cañada, Flintridge, California. In 2014, he directed the school's production of We're the Millers, starring American-Croatian comedians George Dolcic and Stanko Zovac, Kelly Ward as Putsi. Kelly Ward brought the youngest T-Bird, Putsi, to life in a role created specifically for the film. Grease wasn't his first collaboration with John Travolta. They previously worked together in the 1976 TV movie the Boy in the Plastic Bubble. After several TV appearances on shows like Mass H, The Waltons, and Magnum P.I., Ward retired from on-camera acting five years later. He transitioned to a career as a voice director for Disney Television Animation and became a screenwriter for various cartoons, including the feature film All Dogs Go to Heaven 2, 1996. From 1992 to 1996, he served as Vice President of Animation at MGM Studios and spent 23 years as an adjunct musical theater professor at the University of Southern California's School of Dramatic Arts, Didi Khan as Frenchie. Didi Khan, born Edith Bernstein, is the only cast member to appear in all three screen adaptations of Grease, including 1982's Grease 2 and Fox's Grease Live, 2016. After portraying beauty school dropout Frenchie in the original 1978 film, she starred in television shows like The Fonz and The Happy Days Gang Benson and the PBS series Shining Time Station, alongside Ringo Starr and later George Carlin. 
Khan has also appeared on series such as Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Transparent, and Blue Bloods. She competed on the British series Dancing on Ice in 2019, but was eliminated in week four. Following her son David's early diagnosis of autism, she became an advocate for autism awareness. In 2008, she was named the National Celebrity Spokesperson for Autism Speaks. She has been married to her second husband, David Shire, since 1982, Dinah Manoff as Marty. The daughter of screenwriter Arnold Manoff and Oscar and Emmy-winning actress director Lee Grant, Dinah Manoff portrayed Marty Maraschino, the pink lady's biggest flirt. Following the success of Grease and a year-long stint on the ABC sitcom Soap in 1978, she won a Tony Award for Best Performance by a featured actress in a play in 1980 for Neil Simon's I Ought to Be in Pictures. She later starred in the film version of the play, as well as in Ordinary People, 1980, and the horror movie Child's Play, 1988. In 1988, she landed the lead role of Carol Weston in the popular NBC spin-off of The Golden Girl's Empty Nest. She co-starred on the sitcom alongside Richard Mulligan and Christy McNichol, appearing in every episode of its seven-season run. Manoff has three children with her second husband, Arthur Mortell. After her oldest son, Dashiell, tragically died in a car accident in 2017, she began teaching acting at the Purdy Corrections Center for Women in Gig Harbor, Washington, as a way to cope with her grief. In 2021, she published her first novel, The Real True Hollywood Story of Jackie Gold, through Star Alley Press. Eve Arden as Principal McGee. Eve Arden portrayed Principal McGee in the movie. She made her debut in films using her real name in the backstage musical Song of Love, 1929, playing a witty, troublemaking showgirl who became a rival to the film's star, singer Belle Baker. The movie marked one of Columbia Pictures' earliest triumphs. In 1933, she moved to New York City, where she had supporting roles in various Broadway stage productions, including The Follies Review her first credited role under the name Eve Arden. Arden was wed to Edward Grinnell, Ned Bergen, from 1939 to 1947, and reportedly had an enduring relationship with Danny Kaye throughout the 1940s, likely starting from their Broadway collaboration on Let's Face It in 1941. Arden was married to actor Brooks West from 1952 until his passing in 1984, from a cerebral hemorrhage at 67 years old. She adopted her first child with Bergen and a second child as a single parent after divorcing him. She adopted her third child with West and gave birth to her youngest with West at age 46 in 1954. All four children outlived their parents. On November 12, 1990, Arden passed away at home at the age of 82. According to her death certificate, she succumbed to cardiac arrest and arteriosclerotic heart disease. Sid Caesar as Coach Calhoun. Sid Caesar portrayed Coach Vince Calhoun, Rydell High's instructor for physical education and athletics. Following his graduation from Yonkers High School in 1940, Caesar departed from his hometown, aspiring for a career in music. He ventured into Manhattan, assuming roles as an attendant and later a doorkeeper at the Capitol Theater. Until he established residency, he couldn't join the Musicians' Union in New York City, but he secured employment as a saxophonist at the Vacation Land Hotel, a resort nestled in the Catskill Mountains of Sullivan County, New York. For 67 years, Caesar was wedded to Florence Levy until her passing in 2010. Caesar proudly professed his Jewish heritage, asserting, Jews possess a keen sense of humor. It's a coping mechanism for a history marked by adversity. If we don't find humor, we'd consume ourselves with seriousness. Caesar passed away on February 12, 2014, at his residence in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 91, following a brief illness. Joan Blondell as Vi. Joan Blondell portrayed Vi in the movie. Circa 1927, she returned to New York, where she worked as a model, a circus assistant, a shop clerk, joined a theatrical company to pursue acting, and graced Broadway stages. 
1930, she starred alongside James Cagney in Penny Arcade on Broadway. Although Penny Arcade had a brief three-week run, Al Jolson, having witnessed it, purchased the play's rights for $20,000 for Warner Brothers, stipulating that Blondell and Cagney must be cast in the film adaptation, titled Sinner's Holiday, 1930. Blondell is honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her remarkable contributions to cinema. Her star is situated at 6311 Hollywood Boulevard. In December 2007, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City hosted a retrospective of Blondell's cinematic works in conjunction with a new biography penned by film scholar Matthew Kennedy. She authored a novel titled Center Door Fancy. New York Delacorte Press, 1972, a thinly veiled autobiography with subtle allusions to June Allison and Dick Powell. Blondell succumbed to leukemia in Santa Monica, California on Christmas Day, 1979, with her offspring and sibling by her side. She was cremated and her remains were laid to rest in a columbarium at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California. She was 73 years old. Jamie Donnelly as Jan. Jamie Donnelly portrayed Jan, the nerdy, junk food-loving member of the Pink Ladies. Donnelly originated the role on Broadway and was the sole cast member to reprise the same character in both the stage musical and the film adaptation. Before Grease, she also featured in the premieres of the Rocky Horror Show in New York and Los Angeles, alongside Tim Curry. Following the film's triumph, Donnelly took a nearly two-decade hiatus from acting, dedicating her time to coaching theater in the Los Angeles vicinity. She resumed her acting career in the late 1990s and has made appearances on television series such as Monk, Veep, and Ray Donovan, as well as in films like Cyrus, 2010, alongside Marisa Tomei and Black Mass, 2015, alongside Johnny Depp. In 2017, she made a cameo appearance as herself on the revived TV game show To Tell the Truth. Among the three contestants was the genuine pinkest lady in the world. After the authentic individual was disclosed, Jamie revealed herself as one of the pink ladies from Greece. Donnelly, an acting instructor, resides in La Cañada, Flintridge, California, with her spouse Stephen Foreman, a novelist. She has two grown children. Ed Burns as Vince Fontaine. Ed Burns portrayed Vince Fontaine in Greece. In 1956, Burns secured an unpaid position at a summer stock theater company in Connecticut, the Litchfield Community Playhouse. Subsequently, he commenced his stage career, taking on acting roles in the company's productions. Despite attempts, he failed to land roles in Broadway productions. During the same year, he landed a part in an episode of the Crossroads TV series. Burns also made appearances in episodes of the late 1950s series Wire Service and Navy Log. Burns played a minor role in the TV film Twirl, 1981, starring Aaron Moran, and took on the lead role in Erotic Images, 1983, alongside Britt Eklund. Additionally, Burns appeared in Man Killers, 1987, Back to the Beach, 1987, Party Line, 1988, and Troop Beverly Hills, 1989. Later, he made appearances in various TV shows, including Unhappily Ever After, Rags to Riches, Mr. Belvedere, Empty Nest, Burke's Law, The Revival, Adam 12, Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, and Murder, she wrote. In 1987, he featured in the sitcom Throb as Bobby Catalina, a former singer, performing his iconic kooky song. Burns' son with Asa Maynor is Logan Burns, who has been a television news anchor for Kuzi TV News in San Diego, California, since 2018, previously serving in the same capacity at KTTV in Los Angeles. Prior to 2016, he was with Fox Connecticut from 2008. Burns passed away from natural causes on January 8, 2020, at his residence in Santa Monica. He was 87 years old. Olivia Newton-John as Sandy. Already an acclaimed recording artist and country music sensation, Olivia Newton-John's career soared to new heights after she was cast as the good girl-turned-rebel Sandy in Greece, the blockbuster hit of 1978.
with her contributions to the soundtrack, including Hopelessly Devoted to You and Summer Nights, she became only the second woman to have two singles in the top five of the Billboard charts simultaneously. Alongside the musical's Billboard success, her portrayal in Greece also earned her a Golden Globe nomination. Inspired by her character's transformation into Bad Sandy, Newton-John reinvented her sound and image for her subsequent album, Totally Hot, infusing it with the attitude of the Pink Ladies. Her next film project, Xanadu, in which she starred alongside Gene Kelly, faced criticism and commercial disappointment, but its soundtrack spawned several top 20 singles, including the chart-topping Magic, which remained at number one for five weeks. It was also on the set of this musical where she met her first spouse, Matt Latanzi, with whom she welcomed their daughter, Chloe Rose, in 1986. In 1981, she released Physical, her most successful album to date. The provocative title track dominated the Billboard Hot 100 for 10 weeks, while its playful, aerobics-themed music video became a staple on MTV. Newton-John went on to record an additional 15 studio albums, amassing a total of 26 in her illustrious career and selling over 100 million units worldwide. In 1992, she received a diagnosis of breast cancer, prompting her to become a relentless advocate for cancer research for the remainder of her life. She established the Olivia Newton-John Cancer and Wellness Center in Australia and was deeply committed to philanthropic endeavors, serving as a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Environment Program. Despite battling cancer again in 2013 and 2017, Newton-John continued her advocacy work until her passing on August 8, 2022. As announced by her husband, John Easterling, she was 73 years old. Recognize any of these familiar faces? If you do, spread the love by sharing this video. Before we wrap up, give that thumbs up if you dug this trip down memory lane. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content just like this. Appreciate you hopping on this nostalgic journey with us.